नमस्कार विद्यार्थी मित्रांनो वेलकम टू यश अकॅडमी टुडे इन धिस व्हिडिओ आय एम गोईंग टू डिस्कस ए ॲडिशनल अँड मोस्ट एक्सपेक्टेड क्वेश्चन फॉर एम एस टी सी ई टी टू थाउजंड ट्वेंटी टू द इम्पॉर्टंट क्वेश्चन द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज सॉलिड कार्बन डायऑक्साइड इज एन एक्झाम्पल ऑफ ए आयोनिक क्रिस्टल बी कोवॅलंट क्रिस्टल सी मेटॅलिक क्रिस्टल अँड डी मॉलिक्युलर क्रिस्टल सो द करेक्ट आन्सर ऑप्शन ऑफ धिस क्वेश्चन इज अ टेल मी डी इज द करेक्ट आन्सर ऑप्शन दॅट इज द मॉलिक्युलर क्रिस्टल second question as a result of osmosis the volume of solution you know that the osmosis is nothing but unidirectional flow of solvent molecules so a decreases gradually b gradually increases c remains unaffected and d is unpredictable so iska sahi answer kya ho sakta hai agar a unidirectional flow of solvent molecule hai to whether it increases or decreases the volume of the solution so correct answer of option of this question is a b that is gradually increases third question mathematical equation of the first law of thermodynamics for isochoric process is here what is asked the first law of thermodynamics for isochoric process isos means same having uh, that is the same volume or volume remaining constant and according to first law of thermodynamics you know that delta u is equal to q plus w but here w what is w w is nothing but minus pressure external into delta v if this is zero then this total factor become zero so delta u is equal to q reversible so correct answer option of this question is a next fourth question in nernst equation the value of 2.303 rt by f at 25 degree celsius is means in nernst equation this values used and the this value has a definite another value means for this 2.303 r t r is nothing but gas constant is temperature in kelvin and f is nothing but faraday so if you substitute these values then it comes a 0.0950 volt b 0.00592 volt c 5.092 volt d 0.0592 volt so the correct answer option of this question is a d 0.0592 fifth question which of the following correctly represents the heat of formation of methane heat of formation of methane means the enthalpy change takes place when one mole of a substance is a formed from its its a constituent elements so here you have to select the correct equation which represents the formation of one mole of methane one mole of methane in all uh, there are four options a b c d so which one is the correct tell me or me comment box madhe pan lagyacha uttar 
सांगायला काहीच हरकत नाही तर इथं कार्बन डाय कार्बन डायमंड अँड कार्बन ग्राफाईट इज गिवन मग स्टँडर्ड स्टेट कुठली असणारी आहे इधर डायमंड और ग्राफाइट द ग्राफाइट मग ये करेक्ट इक्वेशन कुछ है तो सी इज द करेक्ट इक्वेशन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ट्वाइस ऑफ एपी टू ओ थ्री थ्राइस ऑफ एच टू ओ इज कॉल्ड मीन्स यर केमिकल फॉर्म्यूला इज गिवन जनरली यू आर आस्ट identify the correct formula of the given so and so but here chemical formula is given and you are asked what is called zinc blend calamine cedarite limonite come on put your comments in comment box or write answer of this question limo night is the correct answer option of this question seven how many moles of oxygen are required to convert fes2 which is in solid state to fe2o3 which is also in solid state with the formation of so2 gas here chemical equation is given in the form of statement and you are asked how many moles of oxygen are required to oxidize iron pyrite to hematite so if you write here equation fe s2 fe s2 plus o2 gives fe2 o3 plus so2 so if you put 11 here 4 2 and 8 the chemical equation is exactly balanced so how many uh, oxygen moles of oxygen are required the 11 so correct answer option of this question is a uh, 11 next eighth question calculate the magnetic moment of divalent iron in aqueous solution if its atomic number is a 24 here atomic number is a given and that is 24 it belongs to 3d series that is chromium it is chromium so its atomic number is a 24 so it has completed the electronic configuration of argon 18 and how many electrons are left only 6 so 3 d 4 4 s 2 so these two electrons are given by the uh, that uh, chromium so has to form a divalent iron so how many electrons are available in d4 unpaired electron so the value that is the uh, magnetic moment is 4 point something so a 0.49 b 4.90 c 49.0 d 0.04 so the correct value is a 4.9 next one ninth question repulsive forces between metal and ligand destroy degeneracy of d orbitals so when metal when ligand approaches the metal the 5d orbitals split up into two sets as you know that but that effect that is the splitting of 5d orbitals into two sets due to approach of ligand this effect is called resonance effect crystal field splitting effect inductive effect screening effect bolo 
क्या सही आंसर है इसका तर इसका आंसर है क्रिस्टल फील्ड स्प्लिटिंग दिस इफेक्ट इज कॉल्ड क्रिस्टल फील्ड स्प्लिटिंग ड्यू टू लिगैन टेंथ क्वेश्चन मिक्सर ऑफ अर्थोनाइट्रोफिनॉल एंड पैरा नाइट्रोफिनॉल इज अ सेपरेटेड बाय ए वैक्यूम डिस्टिलेशन बी फ्रैक्शनल डिस्टिलेशन सी स्टीम डिस्टिलेशन एंड डी इज अ फ्रैक्शनल क्रिस्टलाइजेशन अर्थोनाइट्रोफिनॉल एंड पैरा नाइट्रोफिनॉल इफ यू ड्रॉ द स्ट्रक्चर्स इन अर्थोनाइट्रोफिनॉल इंट्रा मोलिकुलर हाइड्रोजन बॉन्डिंग इज ऑब्सर्ड एंड इन पैरा नाइट्रोफिनॉल इंटर मोलिकुलर हाइड्रोजन बॉन्डिंग इज ऑब्जर्व सो देर इज अशन ऑफ लार्ज नंबर ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल्स इन केस ऑफ पैरा नाइट्रोफिनॉल बट इन अर्थो नाइट्रोफिनॉल ड्यू टू इंट्रा मोलिक्यूल दट इज हाइड्रोजन बॉन्डिंग इज ऑब्जर्व विद इन द मोलिक्यूल सो there is no intermolecular hydrogen bonding so there is no association of molecule so these two compounds are separated from each other by the process known as a steam distillation next question 11 identify the chiral molecule from the following first of all you should know the exact meaning of chiral a असिमेट्रिक कार्बन एटम मीन्स ए कार्बन विच इज अटैच टू फोर डिफरंट एटम सच कार्बन इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय मार्क एस्ट्रिस एंड कॉल्ड ए कायरल कार्बन एटम इफ दिस फोर बैलेंसिज आर सैटिस्फाइड बाय फोर डिफरंट एटम्स आर ग्रुप्स देन द कंपाउंड बिकम्स ए कायरल इत You have to draw in mind one bromo butane, two one one di bromo butane, C two bromo butane, then D two two di bromo butane. So, if you have these structures, what do you have to do? And in mug, hey, J M structure, what do you have to do? So, one carbon is symmetric. That's why it's only the two of these are the atoms. जर तुम्ही जोडत गेला आणि त्या स्ट्रक्चर तयार झाला आणि ज्यामध्ये तुम्हाला असं दिसत आहे की ऑल द ऑल दी फोर बॅलन्स इज आर सॅटिस्फाईड बाय फोर डिफरंट ऍटम्स देन द कंपाउंड इज अ कायरल सो हिअर आउट ऑफ दिस ऑप्शन करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज अ टू ब्रोमो ब्युटेन ट्वेल्थ क्वेश्चन You are given this compound on heating with zinc Hg and concentrated HCl gives a n-propyl benzene, b one phenyl propane two oil, c one phenyl propanol, and d one phenyl propane one ol. So here this is the structure, and you are given a reducing agent, zinc in. Zinc amalgam in concentrated HCl. So zinc amalgam in concentrated HCl is nothing but Clemson reduction. And you know that what happens in Clemson reduction, the carbonyl group which is present in aldehydes and ketones get reduced to, or uh, it is reduced to CH two group that is the methylene group. So this reduction is generally used to prepare. hydrocarbons that is saturated hydrocarbons if you want to extend if you want to extend a alkyl group outside the benzene ring which is not possible by friedel crafts alkylation so this clemson reduction as well as a wall kishner reduction is a used tumhala maith hai mhanje itha benzene ring cha bahir tumhala asa ek कार्बन ची चेन तुम्हारा बाहर वाढ़ता है सो दिस सीओ ग्रुप इज रेड्यूस टू सी एच टू सो हाउ मेनी कार्बन एटम्स आर प्रेजेंट इन चेन वन टू थ्री सो प्रोफाइल दिस इज दन प्रोफाइल यन प्रोफाइल बेन्जीन
13 an organic compound reacts with nitrous acid at 0 to 5 degree celsius means 273 kelvin to 278 kelvin gives gives an alcohol with liberation of nitrogen the organic compound is here an organic compound reacts with nitrous acid that is hno2 but here hno2 is not a stable so it is prepared by reacting sodium nitrite and dilute acid that is the hcl so you have to identify the organic compounds which produces an alcohol with liberation of nitrogen so this process is known as a diazotization but actually diazotization madhe um jo nn n2 x tayar honar ahe to jo asnar ahe to stable asat nahi to decompose hoto and it is converted into alcohol so primary aliphatic amines is the correct answer option of this question Primary aliphatic amines are converted, in, converted into primary alcohols. 14. Question. The monomers of biodegradable polymer nylon to nylon 6 are the monomers of biodegradable polymer nylon to nylon 6 are A. Glycine plus adipic acid. B. Glycol plus thalic acid, C. Phenol and urea, and D. Glycine and amino caproic acid, that is epsilon amino caproic acid, caprolactam, epsilon caprolactam. So, which one is the correct answer of this multiple choice question? The monomers of biodegradable polymer, that is nylon to nylon 6. So, nylon, t, uh, nylon 2 contains two carbon atoms, uh, monomer, and monomer of nylon 6 contains six carbon atoms. So, correct answer option of this question is a D, that is glycine uh, plus amino caproic acid. This is the last question of this video. So, with this explanation, I will stop here. Which of the following are soft? on heating and hard on cooling a elastomers b thermosetting polymer c fibers and d thermoplastic polymers so which one is the correct tell me come on thermoplastic because it is reusable Puna to meet a vapru shaktaka soft on heating and hard on cooling. Jeeji property. This is the property of thermoplastic polymers. Jeeta Vidarti Mitrano Yash Academy Che Jekai videos ya Parikshecha Anushangana Astil. The upper the rose pave channel subscribe Kelana Sarita Tatka subscribe Kara. A videos or Tumala Award Lather to like Kara. आणि शेयर आपल्या मित्रांच्या बरोबर करा जर निश्चित यामध्ये तुम्हाला काही वाटलं तर चांगली सजेशन्स करावीत कमेंट बॉक्स मध्ये आपली मत व्यक्त करावीत ज्यामुळं चांगला कंटेंट आणि चांगल्या क्वालिटीचे व्हिडिओज हे तुम्हाला तुमची परीक्षा होई तोपर्यंत मिळते सो थँक्स फॉर वॉचिंग दिस व्हिडिओ